we all watched the David Arquette documentary. I didn't finish yes. it, so I'm gonna let you guys take over for this. I you watched half trash. of it. I watched uh, half of not... it, and I'll finish oh. it later. Well, you better finish it because I the I feel like it, the ending it was is well kinda, done. Like, not emotional, but it's like it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can't kill uh, David Arquette. Uh, I believe it's on Amazon. That's where I watched it. At least I don't know where Tony watched. Yeah, where it's Amazon watch? Prime. I rented yeah. it on there. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody on Twitter tweeted him and say, "Hey man, I watched it on Netflix. It was good." And he quote tweeted and said, "It's not on Netflix." <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Where the fuck did you watch it then? <laughs> H legal dot L -U. Dot <laughs> David Arquette. Yeah, so uh, I wasn't sure what to think of this. I just was gonna, I wanted to watch it because I, I, I figured it had stuff uh, with the gauge in him at GCW. So I was like, okay, this, yeah. this could be cool. Um, I didn't realize how much shit he actually went through before I even realized he was like doing stuff again. Like, there's a scene where he like, he's like, okay, I'm gonna be a wrestler again, and he pulls up at like a backyard fed, and it's just like a bunch of dudes. Like with a ring behind somebody's house, and he works a match with somebody, and he like does like light tube spots. I'm like, what is what is yeah. this? Like, what it happened was, here? It, uh, it was pretty crazy, man. The whole story of like David Arquette and how he like even from WCW and how he had the title, and then like everyone... I'm from Hollywood, <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody hated him for that, and he has like yeah. a really bad depression and shit. Like you just feel bad for the guy because like. They he respect the biz, you know, it wasn't yeah. his choice to win the title, and then, like, they even had people in, like, him. they were interviewing people, and everyone's like, yeah, David Arquette sucked dick, he sucks forever, he ruined wrestling, he's a bitch, and it's like, <laughs> damn, bro, he didn't, he didn't really do it. Bro, he they got the biggest marks they could possibly find <laughs> in the Dude, world. Dude, has got a progress shirt. <laughs> they smelled him out and said, hey, any of you guys want to talk about David Arquette? You guys watched any of the WWE documentaries about WCW? <laughs> <laughs> AJ, I've seen them all. I've seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, Never yeah. drew a dime. Yeah. Dude, the yeah, backyard uh, stuff was crazy. They they fucking Kazefabe his ass to come down to do a yeah. signing and they said, we got the hottest fed in the fucking state. You they come said on the hottest fed in the Northeast. What? He said, bet, bro. I'm going to come down. I got this whole new gimmick on trying to magic man. <laughs> Not the that's why you David think he's a <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's exactly why I think he's as a Serpentico because he went to the backyard fed and he showed off his new Magic Man gimmick where he had a bunch of cars and did a bunch of cars up, but he also shot streamers out of his hand like Serpentico, exactly yeah. like him. I mean, exactly <laughs> like him. I'm that's just saying. Suspicious. I'm just saying uh, they're about the same height, same build. Just they uh, they also show him going to Mexico to to wrestle as well, dude. I. Did you guys know about street wrestling? Um, okay, I, so I've seen DDT do it before. <laughs> That's it. But like, no, not like wrestling. In wait, do DDT do it the same way these guys do it? Like, uh, I didn't. Oh, so okay, yeah, I didn't watch this part. So what can you explain? Oh, to me? okay, so okay. dude, so this, like Christina yeah, was telling me that uh, this is like a thing, like not just street wrestling, but like all kinds of panhandlers out there. Yeah. So like, she saw that before. Yeah, in James, person, they like so. legit. So there's like, you know, uh, tra there's actual traffic at a stoplight. It's like a big like intersection. Mm -hmm. And these guys, it's like five dudes in lucha masks and they're working, they're doing like quick like 1 minute like drills with each other, just like working spots, and then they go and walk through like the sea of cars and take dips from the people they're, riding by, from the people sitting in their cars waiting for the traffic well, the like stoplight to turn. is like 5 minutes long it seems like. Oh, is yeah. that like the whole fed? Yeah, that's not no, that's not the Fed, but like that's something they do like on the street. Like panhandlers just oh, that's put masks on and do spots on the Dude, road. Dude, if and I then saw go homeless guys change. on the street working matches, I would tip them easily. Oh my god, yeah, that actually is a good idea. It was cr I've never seen. I never and then saw. David I was Arquette like, holy jumps fuck. off a ladder at one point. And yeah, David Arquette did a ladder spot in the street and then went up and got changed from somebody. <laughs> That's that's actually pretty cool. I got it was I, insane. I, I can't wait to see that part. Yeah, that sounds cool. Dude, um it's yeah, it's ridiculous. So like then like he uh oh fuck, I forget what his lucha name was. It was like just, Oh ah. good, he got a lucha name. He had a mask too. Oh, that's cool. Penta yeah, L Zero uh, D. He had like a full outfit, he had like it said D A on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh and like he does a match there. And, oh, before that they're like training him. They have like these luchadors training him. His buddy like knew a guy in Mexico, so that's where they went there, so he could like mm -hmm. get a little bit of lucha training. So like they're trying to do a spot where like he uh 
he like does like a, a running like Rana. He just like a hurricane Rana. Right, uh, right. And he keeps fucking it up. And the guy's like talking in Spanish and he says, listen, if your guy here doesn't figure it out, we're going to throw his ass the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like serious. Are you talking like a running head scissors or something? Yeah, like not, like, yeah, just like a running like, yeah, to, like leap up Rana. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, that's on the other dude. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. it's not <laughs> well, I don't, I think David wasn't like getting his, he just wasn't jumping for it. Yeah, he wasn't jumping for it. He oh, was, like, okay, wasn't okay, like committing okay. to like the okay, ascent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Because the follow through looked great. When he did it, it actually looked like good. I was like, oh, shit. Right, okay. right. Um, and then he has like, a, they do like an actual match. And then afterwards, like one of the masked guys, like, I guess he gets their respect and like they take their masks off in front of him. Like they don't show no, like their backs are to the camera, but like mm -hmm. they unmask in front of him. And like one of the guys signs his mask and gives it to him. And like David Arquette's like about to cry. <laughs> like, oh shit, this is so cool. Yeah, like, I think he does start mask. crying. He's like, man, he gave me his mask. That's so cool. Oh, that's yeah, dope. That was... And then they go through like, uh, some other stuff. His, like, he's asking his kids, like, he says, you know, I kind of want to be a wrestler again. Like, should I? And his daughter says, no. <laughs> and he turns, like, the youngest kid, like, his son, and he says, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he high-fives the kid. He's like, hell yeah. Yeah, he high-fives the kid, yeah. That's sure. my guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a cool. Uh, I like that. They show the GCW match uh, with him and Gage, which is Did they go still... over that? Yeah, they do go over that, yeah. Cool. Um, it's, uh, they don't go as far into it I, they don't talk about it as much as i thought they would i mean they show it they show what happens and all um it was they don't a big really, deal like, when it was up happening. beforehand though that huh it was a big deal when it was happening it was gigantic deal yeah which even funnier that wasn't even supposed to match it was supposed to be gage and joey ryan and joey ryan got hurt david arquette was actually a fill-in my elbow hurts <laughs> <laughs> yeah go to hell <laughs> so i still can't believe that's a match that even happened like yeah. Nick Gage and David Arquette in my wildest dreams. Like that's not even something I would do in EWR or Fire Pro. Like that doesn't <laughs> yeah. that isn't something that happens. <laughs> but it yeah. did. Um and for those that didn't see it, you should definitely watch his documentary and see what happens. It's pretty gruesome. Um Gage, they're going back and forth. They're obviously do and it's a Nick Gage match in GCW. They're using light tubes. And fucking David Arquette's going with it. And uh they kinda I think David Arquette gets a little sketched out when Gage starts like Digging the light tube into his head like the broken piece of light tube, and he freaks mm. out and like sweeps Gage's mm. legs out from under him, from behind him, and Gage like comes down and like accidentally stabs Arquette in the neck with a fucking light tube. Oh, that was wild. And Arquette's flipping the fuck out. They like he leaves. He has to go to the hospital. They show a scene of him going to the hospital, standing outside of it, and banging on the door, bloody as fuck. It's I can't imagine who <laughs> they probably thought it was fake and like a movie scene, <laughs> but it they, was very uh, real. What, what was the initial thing that they said? I think it was that he didn't want to do it himself like he didn't want a gig or something so he's like gauge gig can you cut me open yeah something and then something he like started yeah, like then he you started like, doing it and he's like fuck 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 yeah, yeah pretty much then, yeah. like yeah he was like you know he wanted to get color but like he didn't want to yeah like you said he didn't want to do himself so yeah he got definitely sketched out um which is very understandable <laughs> <laughs> yeah I <laughs> makes think so. makes a lot of sense but um, lord that was uh some really bad luck ah uh, like who like who would have thought that, like, I need to watch that match back in full because it's just, like, a mind fuck to me. It still doesn't feel like it happened. It was two years ago now. Dude, that's yeah. crazy. Time has uh, yeah. flown. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Um, Then they go through, like, him, like, doing other stuff. That he kind of, like, after the gauge match, they go into him, like, kind of getting back into a downswing with his life, like, in terms of, like, drinking again and stuff like that. He's kind of gaining weight back. Um. And then, like, he's, you know, he's, he's back and forth with that. He's, like, trying to figure out if he still do this wrestling shit and all. And then in the end, they go uh, and they they show his final match. I don't know if it's actually his final match, but for this documentary, it's his final match. It's him and Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Which I have to the beginning of Anderson. the... Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have the start of thing with the promo with Anderson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like that promo at the start, James? Yeah. Holy shit. I was just like, what is this? Hey, you trying making a mockery in the business. Yeah. I said, oh, my, my business. God. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so oh, they did, did they have that match? Just for the, I'm guessing for the documentary. Yes. Yeah. All right. That was. I had to how was like, it? Did they show it? I don't it? know why that was the thing. I don't know what show it was on, though. Yeah. That's uh something. But they show it, and like they show the crowd behind them. Uh, his wife, like plays the like dresses up like Miss Elizabeth because they keep going back to the Macho Man Miss Elizabeth thing that he watches during the show. So like she is like her, his manager for the match, his valet for the match, dressed up as Miss Elizabeth. So he's like 
you know, he, and then he, I think he wins the match too, and like everyone's fired up about it, and it's a, a nice, nice wholesome ending. He I said, those uh, "Legends of Wrestling shows is where." Oh this yeah, it was like a convention was. show or something. Yeah. He said uh, that his wife looks like Miss Elizabeth. He said, "That's why I married her." <laughs> <laughs> oh, much respect. Yeah. I uh, I really really like this documentary though. It's, I it also gave me a new fact. Like I already like was. I already liked David Arquette, like, when he came mm. back. I was like, what? this dude has, there's no reason for this guy to fucking come back to wrestling. There's no reason at all. Yeah. Like, and he wanted to do it because he, like, felt like he owed something to the wrestling fans that fucking hated him. That, yeah. Which is, like, such a crazy way to think of things, but that's the kind of guy David Arquette is, that he wanted to, like, show people that he is a wrestling fan and he actually gives a fuck about the business. And he put himself through way more shit than he needed to. Uh, just to get, you know, just Absolutely. to get the acceptance of the wrestling fans. And if you uh, don't really know much about David Arquette's like, whole uh, thing, definitely check this out on Amazon. It, I think you'll find a, you'll have yeah, a it's, found it's, respect it's, for him, too. It's really good. Even just, like, the story of, like, his acting career and how it kind of fell yeah. down. And yeah. Then it was just well shot. Up. Yeah. Just everything about it was really good. The, at one point during the uh, beginning of the documentary, he's outside playing with a very big tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, I actually pop huge for that. I'm like, I did that pop the boys. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. rules, man. I'm like, oh my god, we have to have very, very oversized weapons at DPW. Oh, absolutely. I was thinking that's like, give me, I have a big spork. <laughs> 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 that would rule ass. Oh my hey. god, it's a sport guy. Yeah, that's me. Oh, hey, well, I have a sport. <laughs> <laughs> I am boxy. You see. <laughs> I think Jungle Boy was in the documentary too, wasn't he? Oh yeah, because him and like yeah, him and uh, you know, Jungle Boy's dad were close. Um, yeah, Luke Perry actually, took him to the hospital. That's yeah. right, Luke Perry was the one that like taped his neck up and took him to the hospital. Oh damn, really? Yeah, I had no idea about that. Like, I think Jungle Boy and him both like took Arquette to the hospital after the gay wow. incident, which is damn. crazy. Yeah, yeah. It so that crazy. was a, like an emotional thing with them too. Uh, they had a match too, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, highly yeah. recommended. I'm gonna act like you didn't do a boxy reference here on this show. <laughs> yeah, you said you had a spork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, good hell. 